if you're like me, you're probably binge watching each Sunday night the special on the Chicago Bulls in their last uh, season during their run of excellence. And there's, uh, there was a very interesting uh, portion of the program last night. Gatorade made a famous commercial featuring uh, Michael Jordan, and uh, the theme song was Be Like Mike. Wouldn't it be great to be like Mike? Wouldn't it be great to jump up at the foul line and sail through the air and then dunk a basketball through the, uh, through, uh, under, uh, through the rim? But Jordan said, you know, don't try it for a day and don't try it for a week. Try it for a year, and you may find you like it considerably less. It's harder than what you think, and it's not all glamour. And I'm reminded of this idea. We read the uh, opening passage of this week's portion, Emor. In Emor, the priests are given the commandment, it's familiar to many of us, that those who have in their family tradition their descendants of the Kalanim, of the priests, may only attend funerals of close relatives, but not others. And that's a very difficult command to observe and a very painful one at times. And if anyone only had to imagine how difficult it would be, of course, in this terrible period of coronavirus, many of us have had that experience of losing people close to us, of not being able to attend a funeral in person. And then we understand in a very personal way some of the hardships of being a, a Kohen, right? I suppose that many of us think, okay, being a Kohen is, is good in the sense you get the first Aliyah in synagogue, for example. But we fail to appreciate that when you have a position of privilege, it often comes with a price. And those of us who serve in any leadership capacity in a synagogue, whether it's clergy, whether it's staff, whether it's lay leadership, understand that um, it's very nice and very gratifying to do the work we do. Um, but we shouldn't underestimate that not all of it's glamour and not all of it's easy. And we do it because the results are such that they're worth the occasional hardship and the trade-off. This is Rabbi Scott Hoffman, and have a wonderful and safe week.